Hello and welcome to WNC Original Music Episode 97, the Southern Railway episode. I am very happy and proud this week to be featuring some of the musicians and tracks from the WNC Musicians for Change compilation album titled Represented. This compilation is focused on increasing awareness of voting rights and access and improving voting participation in North Carolina and all around the country and the world. Might as well. There will, of course, be links in the show notes for the compilation, and you can find it if you can type real quick. Get ready. WNCOriginalMusic.Bandcamp.com The music is all free, and there are links on each track to guide you to sites on the internet where you can participate in the uh, process to increase voting access and to get out the vote. It is a nonpartisan compilation, but uh, hey, if uh, it ended up that uh, I became president because of this, uh, I'm not going to complain. The main organization we're supporting with the compilation is called Reclaim Our Vote, and they focus on restoring voting rights in areas of the country where there has been widespread disenfranchisement. And unfortunately, that uh, has become a problem again after re-enfranchisement for about a century or so. It's kind of like if automatic transmissions just disappeared tomorrow. There's no reason for it, but it happened. Well, of course, there is a reason for disenfranchisement, but fortunately, Reclaim Our Vote is fighting that. So I'm going to tell you some more about voting in a little while, but first I want you to hear some of this music. I'm going to tell you about each of these musicians right before I play their song. And we're going to start with Julia Sanders. Julia is a kind of a country western folk singer, singer-songwriter maybe, but I like to think of it as front porch music. I like this song uh, just as a song, but also like that Julia, when I asked her to contribute to this compilation, she recorded this song for the compilation itself. So it didn't exist before the compilation. So that's very special to me. Here's Julia Sanders. Waking up, not sure what day Should I read the news or keep away? Don't you count the time, it only makes it slow How much longer, I don't know Guess right now would be the time Get these garden beds in line Put some things in the ground That need space to grow How much longer I don't know Longer, 
That's Julia Sanders, and I should also mention that's Lyle Werner on fiddle. Great job, Lyle Werner. Regular listeners to the podcast will remember that one of our first guests was Ben Mackle as Threadbare. That's his project where he does just very minimalistic, sparse music. It's very moody, sort of downbeat and upbeat at the same time. And for this compilation, he is joined by Sarah Hund and Daniel Emond, and they are the Blue Eyed Bettys. That's their indie folk pop grass band. They do a lot of harmonies, a lot of uh, kind of new grass style intricate playing, and they have really good songwriting as well. And here's one of their songs now, the Blue Eyed Bettys. Gonna wash my troubles out to sea. Let the water carry me Wash my troubles out to sea Carry my troubles away Carry my troubles away Worry and heartache were pulling me down I'll find my way out soon I float in the gulf and drown in a cloud I'll find my way out soon When the sun is gone, you can see the moon I'll find my way out soon Release my heart from its old stale jar I'll find my way out soon Gonna wash my troubles out to sea Let the water carry me Wash my troubles out to sea Carry my troubles away Carry my troubles away When the moon is gone, we can see the stars I'll find my way out soon Send this strife right back to Mars I'll find my way out soon Oh, the stars, they show me I am small Find my way out soon And that this hurt doesn't matter at all Find my way out soon Gonna wash my troubles out to sea Let the water carry me Wash my troubles out to sea Carry my troubles away Carry my troubles away Release the weight that's sinking me I'll find my way out soon Let it go and let it be I'll find my way out soon I asked everyone who submitted to the compilation to provide a statement about voting, and um, I think you'll really like the Blue Eyed Bettys. You can find that when you go to the compilation. Again, that's at wncoriginalmusic.bandcamp.com, and you can go and read the Betty statement. I like on there is the part where they talk about voting as part of healing, part of healing the wounds of a nation, and uh, we definitely need that right now. So I want to encourage you to vote for a lot of reasons. But uh, as the Betty say, uh, vote to heal. Speaking of voting, I mean, you brought it up. Uh, I do want to encourage you to visit this one site. It's easy to remember. It's just vote.org. They've got a lot of resources there. It shows you where to go vote and make sure you're registered. Places you can uh, sign up to do polling work or to give rise to people to the polls. Just all kinds of stuff there. That's vote.org. Very easy to remember and uh, a lot of stuff there. Okay, we're getting ready to switch gears a little bit with this next song. It is by Tin Roof Echo. That is the recording moniker for Asheville-based musician Joe Hooten. And Tin Roof, or I call him Tin, so I'm just calling him Tin. Tin uh, plays a variety of styles. I mean, you will you will not believe it's the same person doing some of his songs. This is one of his more um, edgier rock songs, but you can hear him playing some acoustic songs. He's got a project that was recorded completely in the hallway of a large building. It's really interesting, really good music. So make sure to check out the show notes for links to uh, 10, Mr. Roof, to you, to 10 Roof Echoes music. And here he is, 10 Roof Echo.
Okay, without trying to sound like a DJ, I want to keep that energy going a little bit there with Tin Roof Echo song. And we're going to hear a song now from the Death Bots. These are not the actual Death Bots that you see on the streets. This is a band called the Death Bots. I think all you need to know about the Death Bots is uh, this quote from Holy Crap Records, which described their sound as a brawling mix between Bad Religion and Johnny Cash, a combo of super speedy melodic punk and killer badass country. Yeah. Here are the Death Bots. In the statement that Deathbots gave on voting, they quoted Franklin Roosevelt, who said that no one will ever deprive the American people of the right to vote except for the American people themselves. And that is true. You see that happen every year. And for a number of reasons, sometimes it's just apathy. Sometimes uh, sometimes it is intimidation. And um, sometimes it is just people think there there's no point in voting or that they shouldn't vote. And uh, I just think that's not true. I mean, you can you can disagree with me, but uh, it's just not true that it doesn't do any good to vote. Uh, it doesn't do 
any good uh, maybe immediately to vote. Uh, maybe it doesn't do all the good that it could, but it does do some good to vote. Franklin Roosevelt uh, used to be president, by the way. Hey, this is Tin Refeco, and you're listening to WNC Original Music Special Episode featuring Represented, the compilation to support voting. Eleanor Underhill was one of the first people to send a track for this compilation. She actually sent this right after we did our last compilation. We're very happy to have it. And the name of it is March On, and we almost used that for the compilation title, but uh, I didn't want her to sue me. We will, of course, have links to all of the artist's music in the episode notes of this podcast episode. And uh, if you are a fan of music videos, make sure to go and check out Eleanor's social media because she has an album out in which she is making a video for each song. And each song is unique and relevant to the song for which the video is made and uh, just very entertaining and pleasing to the eye and the ear. And here is Eleanor Underhill.
I want to remind you one more time that all of these songs are and more are available at wncoriginalmusic.com. Just a lot of really good music there, and each track has some links to a voting site where you can uh, volunteer your time. You can donate. There's some donation sites there, and uh, we prefer you do that if you want to donate money to a get out the vote effort there is a link in the um, compilation itself so don't worry about paying for the songs uh, you don't have to do that they're all free and isn't it impressive how generous i am with other people's music it's customary to end each podcast with a song from a band that's outside of western north carolina and we're not going to make an exception for the voting rights podcast the Lily Vakili Band is fronted by Lily Vakili, who was born during a military coup in Honduras. But now she and her bandmates live in Montclair, New Jersey, my hometown, and they make high-energy, powerful rock music. And this song is no exception, and it is sort of a summary, I think, of uh, this whole year leading up to this election season, so it is quite fitting for this compilation. With their song Summer So Far, here is the Lily Vakili Band. Okay, one more time, want to remind you of the website for the compilation. That's wncoriginalmusic.bandcamp.com. All the tracks are free, uh, and if you do want to donate money, there are links there for Reclaim Our Vote to donate money to them, but also mainly links to uh, participate in the voting and get out the vote process. That's what we're really trying to push is the get out the vote process, and uh, also there are some more links for that if you go to vote.org. You can check your registration. There are links to vote by mail. Uh, there's links to get reminders. Um, you can get, uh, you can locate your polling place. You can become a poll worker, and you might get paid for that depending on what state you're in. And that is all at vote.org. 
I want to thank our partners over at Reclaim Our Vote for uh, being a lot of help and providing a lot of resources for this. We're going to be doing some more stuff with them between now and the election. And again, their mission is to increase voting participation, and they focus on areas uh, in which there has been some disenfranchisement or some uh, just some kind of sketchy stuff going on with voting in the past, for whatever reason. I want to thank all the musicians who have donated to this cause. They all did it for no money. They are all very passionate about voting rights. And I know a lot of them, or at least a few of them, are convicted felons, so they can't vote. I'm just kidding. They're not convicted felons. They are just a great group of people who care about civics, civil rights, and America. Those three words should sort of mean the same thing. And when they don't, that's when it's most important to vote. That's all the preaching for now. I'm just going to remind you to vote maybe 400 more times in the next couple of months. Have a good week. Voting is a right. It has to be easy to understand and accessible to everyone.